All right, uh, good evening, everyone. So, what I'm showing you is what looks like under the engine valve cover. So, this is for this applies to Scion XA 2006, 2005, I don't know, maybe 2004, 2003, but the 2000 series. But this is for XA. 2006 specifically so was noticing can show you here some of the dark oily or greasy spots there I don't know if you can catch it in the camera or not but maybe I'll show you so you know I noticed some grease uh, on the outside of the cylinder block and I thought to myself, I said, maybe there's a leak in the gasket. So I decided to uh, open up the uh, engine top cover. Uh, there's a plastic uh, uh, cover. I'll show you in a second. That looks like this. That looks like this on the top right and which I had to remove so one bolt there second bolt there but underneath that you have this you have the cover so I have this upside down obviously because I just removed it but so you notice one two three four four five six seven eight nine and ten so there's ten of these that you have to remove it's a bit of a delicate um, unbolting so to speak and uh, the uh, bolt size that I had to use was I'll show you guys here Can you see it basically 10 millimeter so um, so get us get a socket with this 10 millimeter and you should be able to remove all the 10 bolts and uh, so once I once I removed all these 10 bolts then I had to kind of tap it with this mallet here the rubber mallet gently like that like that like that like that and and then use a use a small flathead like that under here between that cover between the cover like here the tip of that cover and uh, uh, and this unit here the base metal unit here which connects to the, the bracket holder that connects to the alternator so I had to gently kind of pry it open and lift it up and then voila what do I see I see the gasket and if you can kind of follow it there is no problem with this uh, gasket there's no leak and there isn't any uh, there isn't any um, any melting going on or overheating of the gasket so which is really good I wanted to find that out because uh, I was getting concerned uh, why these dark spots were were showing up on my engine so if you ever need to look in there that's what you have to do I also removed uh, let me show you I also removed there is a bracket that looks like that looks like this that looks like they, that's holding that's holding this hose here and that attaches that attaches right about there so this would be if you're standing in front of your car this would be on the left side of your of your engine so it's right there so it's right there that's where that bracket was this bracket so you have to remove that that's an additional thing other than the 10 bolts that I showed you the other two bolts that I had to um, I guess I I could have left them in but just for ease of uh, removal of the um, engine um, 
uh, top valve cover. I also removed this bolt here, this bolt here. For that, I had to use a uh, 12 millimeter socket. So I'll just place that there, and I'll show you here. So 12 millimeter for this guy. All right. So that's 12 millimeter right there, right there. So all the uh, all the wiring for uh, spark plugs, I think. Uh, you know, Bob, where it goes into the engine block, and that's what the inside of your car looks like. There's decent amount of oil, and I don't see any kind of uh, uh, suit uh, built up or smoke built up smoke suit suit smoke built up so that's really good news so uh, I'm doing this as part of a um, as part of inspection because the car failed inspection uh, the inspection place said there is a leak uh, exhaust leak and I talked to a mechanic and he goes well I don't see a major um, air leak because you know when you plug up the um, muffler tailpipe you should be able to hear a hissing noise uh, where the leak uh, is happening so we did the test but he wasn't able to locate it and uh, and then he said maybe it's the um, gasket for the manifold exhaust manifold which is like way down which is like way down there uh, but but anyway so while I'm at it I figured you know because I did a visual myself uh, around the engine block uh, the top of the engine valve cover and I noticed the grease like I was saying to you guys you know uh, that has darkened the um, the outside of the engine so I said oh maybe there is something going on with the with a gasket uh, for the uh, valve cover but luckily in this case no problem here so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put the cover back on put this cover back on and uh, put the bolts and the bolts that I have I can show you this was the 12 millimeter uh, bolt and these are all um, these are all 10 these are all 10 so 10 millimeter and this is the two bolts uh, again two millimeters that goes in the middle right there right there and then right there of the engine two long ones and all these other little ones uh, make sure that you um, you undo these or untorque them gently very gently using something like this a tool like this a ratchet like this so this is a flexible head uh, very very good and uh, and the other end looks like that if you have something like that that would be very very good uh, and uh okay so while you guys were uh, looking at the blank video what i was doing was i was searching in my uh, toolbox uh, this ratchet here uh, this little one this is very helpful if you guys have something like this this is very helpful uh, to remove or to get in areas where it's really tight remember when the cover is on the top it was really hard to reach in here you know so this is the the windshield the windshield is there so there's very little space very tight tight space so I had to use something like this a little uh, um, a little socket like this a little tool like this very short uh, but not very very um, powerful you know because these bolts the little bolts here 
they are not torqued heavily so they're not uh, tightened like uh, crazy so go easy on them while you're removing them but that's how you should be able to do it on Scion XA 2006 or 2000 series this is 2006 uh, on this car but you might have a car that is in the 2000 series and uh, my guess is that it's applicable so this is good news for me there's no gasket leak or gasket uh, damage and hopefully that would be the case for you if that's not the case then you can replace you see the gasket there you can replace the gasket remove the broken one or the melted one and also these uh, uh, o-rings here now, I call these o-rings you know these are you know gaskets too uh, for the cylinder so you can remove all these too but in my case luckily I don't have to do a thing as far as that goes but I have uh, I have to inspect the other areas in the exhaust the manifold which is right here so anyways that's what this video is about hopefully you guys uh, uh, learned a thing or two of uh, the procedure on how to do this on on an XA I have watched many other videos for Corollas and other cars Camrys and things like that but nothing about XA that I was able to find online so I made this video as a documentation uh, for myself friends family anyone who is interested in undertaking a project like that uh, hopefully you don't mind uh, my having a radio um, uh, while I'm speaking uh, but uh, please if you find this uh, helpful subscribe like it and smash it and share like me thank you have a good day bye-bye